Face, picks the top corner. That is not easy to do against Aaron Frankel. Not one, but two. A little fake deception shooting through a screen. I expect her to be on her best tonight. It's going to be a game. No, let's be real. Both of these teams wanting to get their first win under their belt, not only help with confidence, but just help them trust the process that they are in here in Group A. All right, we'll continue to get you set up here in Utica, New York, as the solar eclipse continue to make its way. These ladies, they don't even care. They look at us with their glasses. They say, we got bigger things going on than the ice here. Day six, game two, set to get underway after this. The 2024 Women's World Hockey Championship from Utica, New York, is brought to you by TELUS. Let's make the future friendly together. By ESSO, celebrate the dedication, growth, and team spirit of minor hockey players with ESSO medals. And by Tim's new savory pinwheels, the perfect snack for those on the go. Order yours on the Tim's app. Ladies, we're here because we deserve to be here. Every rep in the gym, every shift on the ice has fueled that difference and brought us here, no matter what stood in our way. It's time to leave our mark and put it all on the line. Let's show them this is our game, our time. Gatorade. When you live with diabetes, confidence comes from knowing your glucose levels and where they're headed. Visit Dexcom.com to try it for free. The PGA lives on TSN. <laughs> and with TSN Plus, the exclusive home for PGA Tour Live, get even more of the golf you love. How cool is that? Subscribe now and stream on your favorite devices. Did you shave on my hot tub? Just my pets. <laughs> Let's get to work. Come on. What the... A solar eclipse coming outside while inside the Adirondack Bank Center. It's a Group A battle between Finland and Switzerland. Game two of day six, game 16 of the 2024 Women's World Championship. Here's your referees and lineswomen for the game. Austria, Canada, and the United States represented with her third start in four games for Finland. Sunny Ahola. She was in net against Czechia and Canada, still looking for Finland's first win. In net for Switzerland, Andrea Brandley, third star in three games, facing 99 shots combined from Canada and the USA. The coach for Finland, Yuso Toivola, took over at the 2002 Olympics, looking to get their first win. On the other bench, the coach for Switzerland is Colin Muller. At the helm since 2020, needs his team to score if they are to secure their first victory. 15th meeting in the top division for these two, both looking for their first win. All right, Utica, hope everyone got their glasses on tonight. The glasses in which you can't see a thing. So right now, both these two teams obviously have their sights set on a victory. A thin win guarantees a rematch with Switzerland in the quarterfinals. Well, if the Swiss get a win here, they could also defeat Czechia tomorrow and then usurp them as the third ranked team. But standings aside right now, a big test ahead. For the Finnish side, Yuso Toivola has been at the helm for a few years now, and the team really believes in his strategy. They look to have some high-powered offense. They have a lot of players that can shoot, that can score. They'll drive the net, looks for some great movement from their offensive prowess. Dylan has had plenty of success against Switzerland in the top division now. Karvinen looking for Tapani in front, and it's just stopped short. Petra Nieminen scores! Less than a minute in. I think the surprise Andrea Brandley as Susanna Tapani.
comes in the zone with the speed through the middle, and she tries a nifty little pass through her legs. You see there, Branley fooled by the side, but the two Swiss defenders looking at the puck, but not Niemann, and she has her stick on the ice, and she goes hard to the net. Petra Niemann now with two goals in the tournament for Finland. Sixth in all-time scoring for the Finn si Finnish side, rather. Got the lone goal against Canada for the team. And big goal to set the tone here. Set the tone is right. And this is the Finnish top line. They will be a threat all night. They swarm the puck. They work so well together. That top line was highlighted in game one for Finland as being the one to watch and creating those chances. And they got to work perfectly. Carvin and Tapani. And then Niemann with the finish. So Switzerland trying to work out of their own zone. And Laura Zimmerman did a great job, or tried to rather, in front of Brownlee to clear. And that's when Niemann came in. She's back out on the ice, pressure against Stalder. Parking in as well with some physical play. Expect that from these two teams. Familiar foes in the top division. Now a chance for Switzerland, a hard shot off the glass. That's Cindy Lehman for the Swiss in red. Sonny Bonanen fires it down low. Back, Jenny Hinerkowski, wind-up shot. Quick tap there by Nelly Leitinen. Keeps it deep in the Swiss zone for Finland and Hinerkowski in her 16th World Championship. Getting to work. Pokes it free, and she'll take turnovers all day. For a team that likes to possess the puck, the Finns have dumped it in twice now and just out chased the Swiss to be able to pick up that puck and have possession in their zone. Finland has had a strong showing in Group A so far. Kept shots on goal even with Canada, and of course got a goal against the Canadians as well, whereas the Swiss have yet to score shutout by both the United States and Canada in front. Nelly Lightning keeping that far away from Sunny Ahola. Oh, you can see Ahola just, she wanted to go get it, but realized her defenseman had it. Now Yanina Newland, she tries to cut in front off the glass, anti Royko. Swiss along the boards. Kelly Kinek uh, trying to find Cindy Jorray. Cindy Jorray's first game of the tournament. Did not play in the first two. Now Rania Savoline and finds Nora to loose in fast. Elisa Holopainen with a shot on goal. She's already got two goals. She scored the first two against the United States for Finland. Another hard shot in front. Nora Toulouse was also there along with Vivi Vinica on the doorstep. Kept in that time. And yet, of course, PWHL Boston, third overall draft pick in the PWHL. From the point, down low, Sinja Lehman looking to play it back. Support from Nomi Reiner. Reiner gets to Mueller, trying to feed it in front. Tappany takes it away. Japanese teammates with Alina Mueller in the PWH. Taking a shot and a quick test there. Ahola with the save.
championship. Finland has such a strong showing against the United States. Two, three, even their fourth line sees a lot of ice. Vanilla Newland puts a shot towards the net. Vinica flies in fast behind her far side. Newland loses it. Sevalainen and back at it and cutting through there for the Swiss. Elena Rossell. Vinica. Well, that one taken away in the neutral zone this time. Vanessa Schaefer, near side. With some support by Alina Marty. Marty carrying it back behind, but Finland put the squeeze on the pressure there. And a great job by Sevander not to allow her in front of the net. Keep her behind the net. Marty can be feisty. And Zimmerman carrying it out. She'll take the shot turned aside by Ahula. Yuchi plays it forward and up in front. Mueller's effort absolutely thwarted there. Now Yeni Hirokoski with speed. Fire it down. Bramley won't cover it up. Plays it over to Bucci. Non-stop action here. Petra Nieminen who scored that opening goal. With less than a minute left. And a bit of a mistake by Bramley not to cover it. Not only did she have Hirokoski, she had many fins at her right in front of her and that's the time your team needs a whistle laura kristen meets the puck first but still deep in the swiss zone the eminent playing it out to carvinen our side have a line in this time through traffic bradley with a quick stick mueller needs it over to liner Tarantula for Finland now, setting up Tapani, and this is how they do it. Looking to rush, coming in through Switzerland fast. Quick save by Brandley. Cutting to it, Sunny Rantala up on Stalder. Or Kristen plays it over. Swiss still trying to clear it. Not so fast, Sunny Vanen in front. Laura Stolder now with. Some control. Passes it. And as the time winds down inside, nearly an eclipse outdoors. It's a one nothing lead for Finland in the first. Every cup of Tim's coffee tells a story. We select high quality, responsibly sourced beans and blend them using the same recipe and level of care since 1964. It's Canada's favorite coffee for a reason. Tim's for good. Learn more at timhortons.ca. Most reward programs limit what you can get with your rewards. Want points you can use on almost anything? And deals from over 2,000 brands? Leave limits behind. Join Avion Rewards today. to be here in Utica in the path of the solar eclipse and you can see so many fans outside looking up taking in the <laughs> once in a lifetime celestial event the actual time is 324 which means that's about five minutes from now total eclipse will happen something exciting could happen on the ice at the same time and yes they're playing total eclipse of the heart but right now Finland all sorts of locked in on what's happening inside the Adirondack Bank Center. They have the one nothing lead set early by Petra Niemann and Newland. Sends it around Andy Royko. Crashed off the puck as Rosal plays it behind. This is where the Swiss have been most of this first period. Andy Royko in in front. Newland. Let it fly. Hard shot off Brandley. I do like how the Swiss are keeping them to the outside. They're just allowing odd angle shots against Brandley. And offside there. I did appreciate as well that these two teams both looking to score their first goal in the game. 
Well, I see Becky and Megan there. They've got a blanket as well. And in the Swiss zone, yet again, pressure. Nellie Lightman comes through, tries to find Hola Pinen. It'll be Vivi Vinica. She stays on side. She's got nowhere to lose with her. Puck stripped away that time. The Swiss continue to try to pull the puck off finished sticks. Let's have a line in, plays it up to Niem Nieminen. And once more, Tapani this time. Watching the Finns play against Canada and the U.S., they had so much more movement coming through the zone, coming through the high slot. We're not seeing that this game. They need to improve their speed, but also the Swiss doing a great job of not allowing them through the middle. Now another chance. That one just off the end boards as it finds Mueller near side to create another chance on net and outside and once again. A solar eclipse looming, but still a 1-0 lead for Finland here in the first. <laughs> My window's like a mirrored reflection. I have to steer you in the right direction. I have to trust that. Every trip, you can depend on ESSO to be the place between places, connecting you to what's next. Julie's having eggs for dinner. They're quick, they're delicious, there's nothing stopping her. Not even her husband's model train club. Eggs for dinner, what's stopping you? Guys, every year, your body loses more testosterone. Ageless Male has been proven to support testosterone levels in men, and it supports energy, too. Get Ageless Male and be the man you want to be. Well, the top line for Finland is reunited after being together at the 2022 Olympic Games. Tapani, Nieminen, Parvinen, they work so well off each other. They have such fluid movement, all extremely skilled players. So special to watch when they're on the ice. Mentioned Susanna Tapani, of course, being in the PWHL, and she's actually played the most games of any player because of a trade. So she's actually got a couple goal uh, games on even some of the teams that have already played more. Going back behind. Finland setting up Parkinen. Can't get the shot off. It's nearly pushed through. And Finns Sophia are going to have to find a way to get those pucks through. A couple blocks there by Finland. Good Certainly sticks. Trying right now. Sh uh, Shalene working with Sundaline. There it is. Another shot on Brandley. Cleared out that time by Stephanie Vetley. Swiss being heavily outshot early here in the first period, and they certainly have taken their lumps in that department in the first two games. Another test there for Brandley. She's been their starter so far in every game this tournament. Mr. Parkinen. Plays it over to Suvander. Andrew Brandley's coach at Ohio State University, the Ohio State University, Tessa Bunham in the desk would correct me on that, indicated that she plays bigger with more shots. So this is exactly the kind of game that falls into her hands. She likes being in the moment. And now getting tested, Anita Loon Newland takes it all the way around the net. Scott Lightman at the point with her, and along with Urikoski. In through traffic, down the slot, and saved by Brantley. A nifty little shot by Yeni Hirokoski, who steps in off the line, walks the line, receiving a puck, and she finds the middle of the ice, which is great. Finds an opening along the side using her edge work. However, the two fins off to the side. They're not taking away the eyes of Andrew Brantley. Nor to lose. Thought she had the puck with her at that point, but the Swiss had stripped it. Now looking to clear it. Murkowski 
her 10th World Championship as captain for this Finnish side. Vivi Vinica with speed cuts in front. Laura Kristen with the work, Lightning. Quick play up, kept in by Vinica. Scott Hirokoski from the point. Down low, Halapainen. That's who Hirokoski was hoping to set up. Now time for the Swiss, Alina Marty. What a block by Hirokoski. And strong chip by Vivi Vinica. She's back to be the first one to retrieve that puck. So fast, in order to lose, dumps it down. This first period winding down quick here. There's an icing call. I thought Muller almost outchased her to negate that icing, but it was not. Colin Muller needs to find a way for his team to be able to score in this game, generate some offense, and not just rely on that top line. Perhaps looking at some strategy on his notebook. Who's up next? That's always the skill set of the coach to know who's firing on all cylinders and who can go at any moment. Who is next? Colin Muller, Canadian born from Toronto, but has been part of this program since taking over from Daniela Diaz in July 2019. So he's had some time here with the Swiss national team. Lots of fourth place finishes, so getting very close. But here, Tapani, Carbonin shot up high that time. Does get a piece of Brandley. And they're getting all sorts of chances to set up on the rush. Parkinen. That chance stalled there by Reiner. Carbonin to Nieminen back again. Nellie Lightning this time. She takes an open lane, tries to feed it down to Tampany. Plenty of chances to cycle the puck here. Back behind. Could have been an nifty play there for Michelle Carbonet. Well, the Finns have 12 shots on net, but probably another 12 have been blocked. They're looking for that perfect play. Meanwhile, the Swiss just kind of create some meaningful offense. Back to the point, Kristen. And then there's a chance. It rolls in. The Swiss score. And a big one to tie things up. None other than their captain, Laura Stalder. Well, and they like to hear the cowbell. What a shot by Laura Christian to just throw this on the net. As she receives the puck, she could see that there is eyes taken away by Sani Ahola. And as the puck comes through, it just redirects by Stalder, who finds it with her stick through the chaos, sneaks under the elbow of Ahola, and you know she wants that back. She wanted to squeeze that down, but it does not matter to the Swiss. Finally, in this tournament, get themselves on the board. Very first goal in three games. It's got to feel good to know there won't be another shutout at the end of this one. We expected a closer matchup with this pairing. The last time these two teams met in the top division, 2022, it was a 4 nothing loss to the Finns. And that's exactly what the Swiss are going to have to do. They're going to have to be opportunistic. Certainly the Finns have a lot of high-powered offense, but they can score like that. Akaisa Andrulojko puts it down. Does force a pad, save, and pressure behind the net. Parkinen. Quick touch on the boards. And now jumping to it. Finland Newland. Close cross eyes. Vivi Vinica right there. It's taken away, flipped out by Anik Bucci. And it took a big team effort. And despite just four shots on goal, Swiss on the board tied at one with Finland. Join the fans of Canada's game across the country and around the world and be a Hockey Canada insider. Receive news and features about Team Canada, events, promotions, and much more. Sign up at HockeyCanada.ca slash insider. Hi, I'm Dan McKinley from Sleep Country with a real game changer. 
our lifestyle adjustable bases. Now you can actually customize how you sleep for limitless head and foot positions. You can also enjoy built-in massage features, an app for your phone, and so much more. For a limited time, when you buy a lifestyle adjustable base at Sleep Country, you'll get up to $1,769 back on a promo card. Speak with one of our sleep experts and start sleeping better now. Stahler is so hard to contain and what makes her such a strong player is her evasiveness and on this redirect you can see that she just gets her stick through a couple legs making it hard for Ahola to make the adjustment as the puck is coming through from the point. Meanwhile Yeni Rogoski just adding to the shots on goal tally for Finland. All tied at one. Laura Zimmerman gets to the puck first in the finish zone. On the line, big shot, Laura Kristen. Down low, Alina Marty. Well, she's taken it along the near wall, but Nora Toulouse keeps it away, plays it around. And that opens things up. Nellie Lightning has thought she had Vivi Vinica, but Vinica went off to the bench. Lena Mueller now, she's looking for her first point in this tournament. Takes a shot and it's just wide. And great job by Mueller to go in front of the screen. Susanna Tapani though, she'll do it herself. Oh, she's got to shake off some Swiss players through traffic up high down. And now another chance, that time will go around. Of course, Reiner just looking to clear it and take the back way to do so. Rantala. Looking for the and now Alina Mueller. She tried to cut through off that steal. There's a shot. Pushed down by Ahala. Sandy Rantala carrying it, shoots it. And that'll set Finland up for a nice offensive zone draw. Well, Stalder always a threat with the puck. And you can see two Finns converge on her, which leaves Lehman wide open for a shot by Ahala at the top of her screen. Was a great chance. And there on the finish chance, Branley just corrals it right into that crest. That's exactly where you want to hold it as a goaltender. And you can see she scans after that too with her eyes, making sure nobody's on top of her. Laura Stalder, the goal scorer for Finland. Lone goal scorer so far. For Switzerland, rather. And the Swiss yet again just trying to work out of their own end. Vetley with a quick touch, and now Bucci. <laughs> Getting in on it is Sophia Sunderland. She's got pressure. Puck taken off the boards there by Sonny Vonanen. Quick play back. And Irakoski sharp angle. Got lightning from the near point. Back again they go. Irakoski's pass. Interrupted. Flip down and lighten it with quick work to set up Anti Royko. She just weaves in, cuts through, not quite. The stick battle continue into the far corner this time. Emily Avessa. Some strong pressure there from Finland. As Janina Newland as well tries to get it back. Anti Royko from the point, Yurikoski. Gives Rontala room, and what a collision. A penalty on the way, first of the game. And that, well, will give, I, that will give Finland a chance on the power play now. Well, a huge collision. Rantala and Bucci, two big bodies colliding, going in opposite directions. An eclipse on the ice, an eclipse outside. And that'll give Finland some room with an extra player. They already set up shop a couple of times in the Swiss zone. 
Or to lose up to Hirokoski. It's high off the glass. The eminent far side to get it. Finland 2 for 12 on the power plays through their two games, so they've had chances. Or rather through their three games, I should say. Wide up shot Tappany off the glass. The Finns like to use Hirokoski as a quarterback on this power play, so watch for them to start the puck down low and try to work it back up to Hirokoski with two Finns driving the net at the same time. Tappany to it first. Final minute of play here. Just over a minute left in this power play. What a shot hard off the glass in order to lose. The Eminen settles it back down. Now Hirokoski. Finland again to lose to the Eminen. That pass just with a quick poke on it. Hirokoski one timer. Bramley didn't see that at all. Didn't even move. Have a line and brings it out to Toulouse with a shot. And she was playing patient there. Toulouse. Hirokoski and Tappany. Quick touches. Line up again here. Tappany. Hirokoski. Toulouse one timer. Final seconds here in the first. Chance to regain the lead here at Kosky. To lose, save, Sabalainen, they score! Finland on the power play. And it's Rania Sabalainen who savors the second goal for Finland. Sabalainen, a big body in front of the net doing such great work trying to stay open trying to get her stick available for the play as it goes around rimming and then it just pops onto her stick after a big shot by nora toulouse and at the right place at the right moment and andrea brantley does not know where the puck is she couldn't find it on the rebound third power play goal for finland And that's a big one there for Rania Savaline and her first goal and point of the tournament. And the first period comes to a close with Finland in the lead. A 2-1 tally heading into the locker room. Well, we know, knew that the Finnish offensive prowess would come to play, and they certainly did. However, the Swiss were able to get on the board with a lucky one, and... This has been a big period for these two teams. 17 shots for the Swiss to only five, and yet only a 2-1 game thanks to the hard work of Andrea Brandley, the goalie for Team Switzerland. Laura Stalder getting Switzerland's first goal of the tournament. Just ahead, Tessa Banam, Megan Bozak, and Becky Keller back on the panel. It's the 2024 Women's World Championship in Utica, New York. Slurpee delivery is here, and here, and also here. Oh, and it's here too. And here, wherever here is. Yeah, it's pretty much everywhere. On Earth, obviously. Get Slurpee delivered wherever you are with 7 Now. It's new. Try the tropical passion fruit Slurpee, only at 7-Eleven. Subway Cyber Sub Days are here, so we baked up a fresh deal. Buy one foot-long sub online or in the app, get one free. Yeah, that's right, free. But don't wait, this offer ends April 21st, only on Subway.com or the Subway app. The Infiniti QX60 exemplifies modern luxury with powerful SUV performance, three rows of comfort, and a sleek yet daring design. Lease a 2024 QX60 from 0.99% APR for up to 24 months. Visit infinity.ca. New Head and Shoulders Bear. Clinically proven dandruff control with just nine essential ingredients. No sulfates, no silicones, no dyes. Dandruff control. Minimal ingredients. Job done. Explore the world the Viking way. 
from the quiet comfort of elegant small ships with no children and no casinos. We actually have reinvented ocean voyages, designing all-inclusive experiences for the thinking person. Viking, voted world's best by both Travel and Leisure and Condé Nast Traveller. Learn more at viking.com. is 2-1 Finland scoring for Switzerland was Lara Stalder she's standing by with Reagan Subban. Lara how would you assess the first 20 minutes so far? Yeah it's difficult I think we have to start believing that it's just a one goal game right now and we're playing as if we're like losing 5 nothing. and I think yeah I mean one goal they got early off but I feel like we we grew into the game a little bit but we have to wake up because right now we have to start playing with the puck. How do you shift that momentum back to your side again? Well, you get a couple good shifts. Like, you get, like, right on them in the forecheck. You get, like, them pissed off a little bit. And then, yeah, I mean, 1-1, one, one, it was, like, our game, our momentum. And obviously, yeah, we took a penalty there, which is uh, unfortunate because I felt like they just ran into each other. But, yeah, it's a one-goal game. We have to, like, keep believing they're a good team. Thank you, Lara. Thank you. And she's not wrong as we welcome you into our first intermission testament. I'm Megan Bozak, Becky Keller along with you. So 2-1 is the score through one period of play. Finland out shooting Switzerland 17 to 5 in that one. So I'm assuming that's what Lara Stoller was referencing when she had said, you know, we're acting like we're down five. We're not. It's a one goal game. She's incredibly right. Let's start with the first goal, Megan, uh, for Team Finland. And it, I mean, don't blink. It happened pretty quick. It, it did happen quick. And a player that teams always have to watch is Michelle Carbon. And she enters the zone with speed. She passes it to Susanna Tapney, who's always creative with her move. She goes between the legs here to get a good chance in the ring of fire for the rebound for Petra Nieminen. She is in the right place at the right time. It happens quick, but it was the momentum going throughout the first period that Finland held, it seemed, for 18 of 20 minutes. They're moving the puck well. They're moving their feet to the neutral zone. They're hunting down pucks. They're not letting Switzerland breathe, and I think that's what Lara Stalder was talking about with they have no time and no space, but it was a one-to-one one -one game. And we expected her, even talking before the game, Becky, before we came on air, you're like, eventually their stars have to score, and surprise, surprise, it was her. Well, you're right, and Stalder got on the board, but this is a team that's been absolutely dominated, and you start to sense a little bit of frustration from the Swiss. It is nice that they finally got on the board, but they have to start playing with a little bit of confidence. This one, this is what happens when you let teams hang around, and Finland had been dominating this game. This is the first opportunity that the Swiss generated, and it's a point shot. Stalder does a really nice job to get her stick on that puck and tip it in, gets them on the board. But this is a team that's going to have to bring the pace of their play up in order to match what fin Finland is bringing at them right now. And I feel like this is one of the first times all Finland that fin uh, tournament that Finland has really set the precedent in terms of pace of play. We always felt like a little bit of their downfall was the fact they just play whatever pace of play the other team's playing. So nice to see them finally with the confidence to go out there and do that. Switzerland finds themselves down one here in Utica at the Women's World. 40 minutes left to play in regulation, however. We'll have more when we come back. The future is not just going to happen. You have to make it. And if you want a successful business, all it takes is an idea. And now becomes a future where you grew a dream into a reality. The all-new GoDaddy Arrow. Put your business online in minutes with the power of AI. This again? What's the pull something working out? It's your mattress. It's impacting your sleep. Stop playing the blame game. Speak to a sleep expert because at Sleep Country, we solve sleep. The Time to Switch event is on now. The Jeep No Limits event is here, which means more trails to blaze, more challenges to meet, more sights to discover. Get into a Jeep Gladiator, the only open-air pickup truck in its class, or Jeep Grand Cherokee, the most awarded SUV ever. Jeep No Limits is here. Time to test your limits. Get up to 10% off MSRP on select Jeep models for up to $8,700 in discounts. Priya doesn't love exercising. 
but loves the way it makes her feel. Even things we don't love can have benefits, like doing your taxes. Learn more about benefits and credits at Canada.ca slash every dollar counts. Canadians tend to say sorry a lot, as in, sorry, can I get another pickle? Or, sorry, just a little more hot peppers and harv sauce. At Harvey's, we say no apologies needed. Except sorry, hands off. Harvey's. Hockey fans, get your Hockey Canada gear at shop.hockeycanada.ca, the official online store of Hockey Canada, and the largest selection of Hockey Canada gear anywhere. Get jerseys, men's and women's tees, hoodies, headwear, and more. Don't miss out. Shop now and get today's special offer. Shop.hockeycanada.ca, a fanatics experience. Emma Malti is now a well-known name with Team Canada. Here are her stats with the national team. I expect these to spike as she's just been gaining a ton more success, a ton more coverage. She's not blinded by the light, though. She caught up with Cheryl Pounder. Your parents give you, you so much confluence, and I know the influence they are. And, and now that you're, you're in this role in the national team and you've really seen it all, and you see players like Nicole Gosling come in and Julia yeah. Gosling, and, and, and how do you think you can help them now really being, I'm going to say it, a veteran. Can I say it out loud? <laughs> that doesn't I sound like this. Sound, yeah. <laughs> you're not old. Not I'm just saying you've been here for a bit. Well, I know I got a, a game puck for my 50th game yesterday, and I was like, oh. really? Like, 50th game? No way. I was surprised. Yeah. Um, but I feel like just just treating them like they're just another part of the team. I think that's what the girls did with me. They let me be myself pretty early, and that, that helped me adjust, right? Like, that gave me room to be who I wanted to be off the ice and on the ice, and then I was comfortable. Oh, say it loud, girl, yeah. because you say be yourself. And, <laughs> and when we watch you, we watch you enter whether it's the rink or whether it was in the pwhl draft and we watched you and we <laughs> said look at that fit did i get that yeah. right to my children out there i know i'm 47 but i think i got it right <laughs> it's a fit correct yeah all right so we talk about it all the time with you uh and, and where do you get that fashion sense from oh my goodness i wasn't really fashionable bef until like i would say ohio state i lived with tatum skaggs and lisa bruno and they were like loved the fashion and they taught me how to do makeup they taught me um a lot of it and i i don't know i i, I kind of not recently i just started to go with more color and i feel like that was fun i don't know pink? i think yeah pink greens so i feel like i don't know when it started but i would say like that interest at ohio state started for sure well, and how about skates <laughs> With a stiletto on the back. Yeah, yeah that was fun. Uh, making those skates was really so, fun. Sorry, what word did you just use? You say sun or fun? Fun. Oh, I thought you said sun. I thought I was missing out on one of those words, those no. younger words. No, no um, <laughs> when, but when I saw that, I was, I was laughing. I said to myself, yeah. I, I would love a pair of those. Yeah. You know, um, and I have, I have a challenge for you, mm -hmm. and I, I'm hoping you'll embrace it. So I'm sure. in the broadcast booth, and I need a little help with my fashion sometimes. <laughs> and so I was wondering... I'm a multi -ever. It's a tough ask. It's a really tough ask. <laughs> Willing to put together an outfit for me? Oof. De definitely. Definitely. Uh -huh. What you thinking? What you thinking? Uh, what color? Colors? Oh, I'm going to have to make you do like a test online to see what your color scheme is. And then we'll go from there. Okay. So if you send it to me, I will see if we can get it. Okay. And I'll wear it. Definitely. Because I'm going to be me. Okay. With a, with a touch of you. <laughs> Every time we watch you walk in, in whether it's yourself or it's, it's sooner, we always say to see athletes it's just amazing to see athletes coming to the ring. Feeling good, right? And what makes you feel good, good, right? what makes to you the feel good as an athlete. Translate to the ice. I think as an athlete, I realized that as I got older, that be you, feel you, you know that, and that breeds confidence. So we love to to see you to walk into the rink like that. And and as you move forward through this journey, I think. 
were to ask Emma Malte, Emma, what's your greatest strength on the ice? Could you? Oh, um, I feel like being annoying, like being tenacious and in their face and being hard to play against, I'd say. I would say I would agree with that, actually. <laughs> I would agree with that. Everyone that loves to have an Emma Mal Malte on their team. <laughs> and where do you think that in, in so many ways, because now you've been around for 50 games um, and you've played through your minor hockey, starting with boys and then into Oakville and then, of course, now in the PWHL, um, what do you think the biggest change has been over your journey um, in the game? I think that recently adjusting to being a pro and, like, having this as my life now and like my career, I think just like figuring out, you know, a lot of trial and error, like what keeps me feeling good, what keeps me feeling charged um, has been the biggest adjustment and the biggest change. Um, like for example, last night I'm like, okay, I need to get dry needling done in my legs if I wanna make them feel good in two days. But like, I wouldn't have known that before. Yeah. Um, kind of when you're used to all those structure and, and NCAA and stuff, you, you don't get that opportunity to figure out what's necessarily best for you. So I think that's been the biggest change so far. Yeah, and it's, it's, it's an incredible piece to growth. I think mm -hmm. knowing yourself, knowing what you need to perform at your best. And so there's a lot of reflection in that. Yeah. And, and just, you know, last question, as you reflect, you went back to Ohio State last year, of course, you went to the yeah. Beijing Olympics. So you had the opportunity to go back to Ohio State. And then you watch, and you know, Natalie Spooner yeah. watched. And we know that Tessa Benum would be yeah. very happy that we're talking about this. And you oh, watched yeah, them win a national title. Yeah. And how was that for you? Yeah, I mean, I know so that cool. the college is so important to you. Yeah, I mean, I love Ohio State. Um, it's just so cool. Like, the alumni of Ohio State is so tight. Like, I feel like that's why I'm, like, I have that connection with Tessa. Like, it's just, the Buckeye alumni is, like, no, like nothing else so I think just watching them win it was so cool to share that as an alumni now like I know the first time they won I was like kind of I was there so I was like a fan yeah. but um now actually being an official alumni it was really cool but probably not talking to Joy Dunn right now <laughs> <laughs> no I mean I saw her I was like oh hey like that's sick but no I mean even that though like even that you can see the the connection between Buckeyes there like it's cool yeah, yeah. yeah. well can't can't wait till uh, your courses clash on, on the ice but again you're doing amazing things <laughs> so you. so continue and Thanks. keep going continue to be you thank you Great job, Poundy and Emma, of course. All right, 2-1 is the score. Finland leading the way over Switzerland. We'll have second period puck drop coming up right after this from Utica, New York. I guess it's time to paint. What is going on? Whether you're doing it yourself or hiring a pro, today let's paint with Canada's most trusted paint brand. Exclusively at the Home Depot. An Enercare expert can find ways to make any home run smoothly. From heating and cooling, to home comfort solutions like water heating and water purification. Our technicians can help with affordable solutions to keep your home comfortable and problem free. And with 65 years of helping Ontarians, we'll always be here when you need us. Enercare, experts at home. Welcome back. Almost ready for the second period here, but this is what took place in the first. Petro Neiman and opening the scoring right away. Stalder tied things up. Savalainen getting a power play goal as Finland leads Switzerland 2-1. Second period action. Over to you, Daniela. Thanks, Tessa, as we get set. Top drop here on the second period. Switzerland was chasing their first goal of the tournament for the first. Now they're chasing an equalizer as Finland gets control. Off the draw. Off the line and... Hola Pine and rather down low. And away with it, Vinica. 
They spend plenty of time in the Switzerland zone. Shots on goal being led by Finland, 17 to 5. Pressure from the boards, Halabainen in front. Patience and a big save there by Brandley. Well, and Halabainen coming out of the corner with the puck has a couple different options as she gets a good look at the net. And Branley just tracks her, tracks her, tracks her, and she dishes off to Tulis. But Branley is right there at the top of her crease. Finland comes away with it again, another chance. That one just wide. Tapani was trying to set that up. Savalainen got that power play goal to regain a one goal lead for Finland. That lead coming under one minute into the opening frame. Well, some of the fans have traveled for a long time to get here, coming all the way from Finland. There are several Finnish parents in the crowd. In the front there, Van Vaninen's mom, Eurola's mom, and Vaninen's grandfather with his thumb up right there, and then Nieminen's mom and dad are right behind them, so waving their flags proudly. Such a special moment to see your daughter play at the World Championship. Such a great moment, and then some of the Swiss families we met during the first intermission they forewent looking at the solar eclipse sammy i mean we went out there and tried to check it out during the first intermission but yeah they're here made the way love all the waves happy faces of course finland in the lead right now and so special for the players you know to have their parents here in the crowd to be able to perform in this big moment for people that have meant so much to their careers and to help them get to this moment Ivana away in the face-off circle for Switzerland. Defensive zone draw. Jumping to it, Parkinen. Julia Shaleen. Played back. Now Suvander. Up to Sofiana Sundelin. That one taken away, Lara Kristen. She has an assist on that first goal. To the uh, other Lara, Lara Stalder, the captain, who not a pass, now another chance. That one stopped short, set aside with a block. Off the boards that time, Lightning. Finland goes for the change. Head up, head up, head up. Kristen working, and now Stalder. The touch to Ensler down low. The Swiss go for a change, and that gives Finland some time. Anti Royko, that puck taken away by the Swiss, and a hard hit. Still in it. What a shot and a quick save there by Brandley. Sets up Switzerland. Oh, and that's disrupted by Yeni Hirokoski. Great step up by Yeni Hirokoski on Stephanie Bentley, who has a D jumping into the play. Finland around the boards there. They have folks far side. And Cindy Jore. Trying to work it down low in the finish zone. Nora Toulouse. She got an assist on that power play goal. Oh, catches Vinica in the skate. And that allows Jore now. That play was interrupted as well. Savalainen with a hard pass up to C.B. Vinick has to jump over at that time. It's an icing. Well, lots of physical play going on between these two powerhouse teams. Some big bodies flying. Here's the first hit. Big hit into the corner as Stephanie Vetley goes hard into the boards. Then just seconds later, Kylie Kanick takes out a player at center ice and just kind of looks around to see if the ref notices. Nobody noticed. No penalties are called. Chance from the circle, not quite, gets stopped short by Vivi Vinica. And more than three minutes into the second period now, but scoring started 42 seconds into the first, and that means Finland the fastest to score in a game in this tournament. Mantela up to Halepine and far side. Here comes Carvinen getting in front, and what a stop by Brandley. 
Alina Mueller now working off the far wall. Doesn't quite catch up with Reiner. Now, with speed, Nomi Reiner was trying to get in close. Finland going to clear it. Nieminen over to Suvander. Backhand pass around. Harvinen. Finn's doing a much better job of east-west passes, finding open ice, taking the coverage, and then going the other way. I mean, fast into Lehman for Switzerland. Once again, Finland able to keep the pressure to the outside. Carvinen now finds Tappany. Plenty of room. Susanna Tappany gets to the middle. Drop pass to Nieminen. That one blocked by Alina Mueller. Great block by great, great job by Tappany to just slow down, find some open ice. Oh, Alina Mueller, though, that one's taken away. A quick shot off again, Tess Brandley. Laura Kristen to the puck. Lehman trying to work with her on the near wall. Once again, now another shot. That one hard blocked by Mueller. Lighten in from the point over to Hirokoski. Far side this time. Sundalina as well. In the middle, they score! <laughs> Finland uses all the traffic in front of Andrea Brandley to get by. And Finland's third line was buzzing out there. Sunny Vanhanen with the goal. Vanhanen's parents are waving their flags proudly in the stands. As the puck goes east-west at the point, back to the middle and a big shot. And once again, excellent hand-eye coordination to find that puck and bring it down, redirect it around. Branley, but also great job by Vanninen to find position in front of the Swiss defender. You can see the Finnish crowd excited about that play. Right now, the officials, though, just making sure that the goal is under review. They're looking at whether the stick was high on that goal. Now, this is a tough call, right? Because as the play is coming through the middle, you start with your stick high and she's bringing it down. So it'll de depend on where the stick actually made connection with the puck. Here, let's look at the replay again as Lightnin fires the puck in and she brings it down. It has to be below her shoulders. Lightnin wants it to be a good goal. They'd love to keep adding to this tally here. Well, the athleticism to find that with your stick and bring it down at the same time. Extremely talented. So Vonanen is there. Beckler was trying to get in the way as well for Switzerland. And it looks like they're still taking a look at it, but boy, would Vonanen want this. Well, she's yet to register a point in this tournament so far. She does have points in top division play one goal seven assists coming into this tournament and she's a physical strong player who isn't afraid to take that middle ice one more look at this she gets it with the blade of her stick looks like it could be a little bit high but we'll have to wait to see what the officials have to say they are still taking a look at it at only 18 years of age, so this is her third World Championships. She's already been to the Olympic Games. She was a champion in the Finnish League this year with HIFK. I believe the officials now are ready to announce their decision. Cheers from the Finnish bench, of course, as Sani Vanninen registers her first point of the tournament and a good goal for Finland, makes it 3-1. And her mom and her grandfather in the crowd, <laughs> excited for that one. Big smile on her face. Of course, Finland with quite an edge now on those shots on goal, 21-5. They kept shots even at 32 each with Canada. 
in that game earlier in the tournament. This is the fourth and final preliminary round game for Finland. Third for Switzerland. They play again tomorrow, taking on Czech. Bucci sends it back. Savalainen cuts around Aholo's net. Our side. And that's a big goal for Finland to go ahead. 3-1 in this game. A ricochet goal that allowed the Swiss back into this game. But they really have been dominant the entire game. Out shooting the Swiss so far, 21 to 5. And Nord to lose, of course, getting that puck deep so that there's the change for Finland. Need some pressure here. Halapainen takes it away. Laura Kristen was trying to bat at it. She does pressure Halapainen off the puck that time. Using the near wall, it's loose. Bouncing Parkinen. Short pass to Vivi Vinica. She'll carry it over. Zimmerman. Taking up space along the boards there, trying to get her stick on the puck. Toulouse battling for it for Finland. And that creates some space for Schaefer now. Vanessa Schaefer with speech. She'll have to hold on as the teammates come out to the Finland zone. And now Mueller with a shot in the glove of Ahola. A big goal for Finland. Took a moment to make sure it was good, but it all is Sani Vanenen. With her first point of the tour tournament, Finland leads 3-1. Do we really have any choice at all? Everyone has a choice, and every choice has a consequence. Which do you choose? Life's full of tough choices, Emma. How do you choose? Ladies, we're here because we deserve to be here. Every rep in the gym, every shift on the ice has fueled that difference and brought us here. No matter what stood in our way, it's time to leave our mark and put it all on the line. Let's show them this is our game, our time. Gatorade. All counted 16 World Championship appearances for number six, Henny Yurikoski, the longtime captain for Finland. Also, the all-time assist leader now with 43. She's played 92 games, the most of any player in this year's World Championship. Susanna Tapani. She really does it all for her team, right? Not only is she offensively gifted, but defensively often so relied on, a leader on this team, a leader in all of women's hockey. Oh, Switzerland trying to set up there, and Carvin in so quick to intercept. Oh, no, no! And Hirokoski meets it, so he has two assists in this game. Always to be expected that Hirokoski will be involved in generating that offense, of course, for her team. That's around. Gonna shake off Beckler there. Now that's a chance. Vanhanen, fresh off that goal, the third for Finland. From the far point this time, Newland trying to get her stick on it. Loose, and Ahola will... Play it over to Rantala. Kali Kinnick trying to get it for Switzerland. Beckler off the glass, or rather up high. I mean, what more can you say about Henny Urikoski when it comes to just her incredible career and performance at this world championship well what makes her so great her her incredible vision on the ice exceptional skater she has such great teamwork or edge work but it is her leadership on the team that is so valuable for this finish side switzerland winning the offensive zone draw bentley working it down stalder has to cut in close pick up space in the middle Finland closing up. What a chance there right in front. Just forced wide into the back of the net. 
Hal Ensler now. That puck gets taken away. Halepine and up they go. Finland. And keep it away. Behind the net now. Lots of physical play. Nord to lose. Force a little further out that time, takes the shot. Saved by Branley, back behind the net now, Bentley. I think that went off her head or off the crossbar, I'm not sure. Either way, a good save for Andrea Branley. Vivi Vinica plays it back to Toulouse, no Hall of Pine, and rather. Stalder. She'll flip it out so that the Swiss can get a change. Smart Finland's play, this is a long time. change right now. Yeah, to lose and here's a chance. Hall of Heinen can't get a shot off. Quick work there, but Vivi Vinica keeps possession here for Finland. Quick touch yeah. from the point so fast off the bench is Rantala. Is Hall of Heinen with her? Hall of Heinen. All the way around. Far side that time. Wind up shot. Rantala. What a block by Schaefer now carrying the. The puck and takes the shot. Big save there by Ahola. Beckler winds up blocked in front. These are hard shots these players are taking. In close range, Taffany turned around. Rantala. A penalty is coming. And so Ahola to the bench. It's six on five right now. Delayed penalty. Advantage to Finland. They take some time. Six on five. Taffany. The back of a line and the eminent. When we return, Finland back on the power play. They've been able to score that way and have a 3 1 lead over Switzerland in the second. Whether you're learning to skate or playing under the brightest lights in the game, hockey leaves its mark on everyone who participates. We believe that Canada's game belongs to all Canadians. But in order to be her, she must first see her. That's why we're dedicated to supporting girls and women on the ice and behind the bench. Girls who enjoy the benefits of hockey grow into strong and empowered women. Girls grow when they play hockey, and hockey grows when girls play. Because hockey is hers. I just asked. I asked. We just asked. Is Ozempic right for you? Just ask your doctor. They're here. The Bold Taste of Buffalo is at Popeye's for a limited time. Try the Buffalo Crispy Chicken Wrap or the Loaded Buffalo Poutine before they're gone. Laura Zimmerman finds herself in the box for the Swiss team. She was the 2022 Swiss League best forward, but also the most penalty minutes in the league. She gets caught once again and will have to sit for two minutes. Coming into this game, Swiss only with four penalties in two games, and there's a big chance, Carvin, and in front, one nearly. A Vivi Vinica special. She's parked door, uh, on the doorstep. Carvin and back, and around they go. Alapainen out there as well. Carvin and carries it up. She's got Lightning with her near side. Alapainen takes it away. Back to Carvin in. Looking in front. What a shot down low. And Alapainen was hoping to follow through there. Vinica doing a terrific job in front, taking away the eyes of Branley, but also getting her stick in the right position from left to right as the puck goes side to side, east to west on the ice, keeping her head up. Important to have somebody in that high slot or in front of the goaltender. Second power play for Finland now, shorthanded Switzerland coming in. Having some time here in the finish zone. And that gets ended by Nord to lose, hoping to carry it away. Nelly Leitinen. As Niemann in near side. And Switzerland's penalty kill getting to work here. Captain Yeni Hirokoski drop pass to Susanna Tappany. Tappany will carry it through, forced to the outside. Rims it around, Savaline, and she got the first power play goal of this game to make it 2-1 Finland. 
the Eminent who opened scoring. Back to the point, Rikoski now Tappany. Quick touch there and a hard clear by Switzerland. You can see the frustration on some of the finish forwards as the puck is not getting down low. The Swiss doing a great job of disrupting passes, not allowing them to make tape to tape passes and being aggressive. Very the aggressive. PK. Yeah, on this penalty kill, absolutely. Laura Stalder now shorthanded. She'll take the shot. That one with support as well from Alina Mueller. So Finland had one shot on the power play. We're back to even strength. And Valario will send it down deep. Chasing is Laura Zimmerman, of course. He's just in the penalty box, but seizing the opportunity here in the offensive zone. Elisa Holopainen out to Vivi Weinicke. That pass just uncontrolled allows Switzerland to send it back. Danny Rantala returns it all the way around the end boards. The Switzerland zone, far side now, off the wall. Like Iva Antti Royko is in the mix for Finland. But it is Laura Kristen who finds Beckler. And Elena Rose will actually for Switzerland. Here's a chance for Finland. They've got all kinds of room, and there's a shot. It's turned aside by Brandley. What a save, another chance. That one by Suvander, hard off the end boards. We're just keeping that pressure down deep. And a nice sing call. Well, the Swiss just had a great opportunity moments earlier. A Stalder, I mean, who do you want the puck on your stick? But Laura Stalder, and she tries to find Swiss player at the side. And here's another chance at the other end. And Branley just makes a great push east to west. Down to Tappany now. Takes it all the way around. Drop pass to Hirokoski. Tappany looking for a wraparound. She scores! <laughs> Susanna Tappany gets it done. She was patient on the wraparound and find, found the opening, rather, on Andrea Brandley. Well, and this play starts right off the draw, and the Finns gain possession. Tappany circles the zone, find, trying to find an opening, and then she loses herself down low, comes and regains the puck, and then steps out. Such patience. Brantley actually comes out to cut off the angle, but Tappany sees it open, and it just ricochets off Brantley's shoulder in the top of the net. What a shot by Susanna Tappany. And what a shift. <laughs> yeah, absolutely. So Susanna Tappany's first goal of the tournament, but third point. Vivi Vinica. she's been buzzing around the net as well. Savalainen, hard shot down, Nord to lose, picks it up far side. And that's the thing. Finland with another chance there, Vinica. They've had chances with the second chance as well to lose. Hoping for a redirect from Holopainen. Vinica right in front. An attempt to clear there in the slot. Finland maintains pressure here. Another chance, soft touch, Holopainen, also hoping for a nice opening. The Finns are really starting to find those lanes, finding new trajectories to the, the net. What wasn't working in the first period clearly now is working much better. Three-point game now for Yeni Hirokoski, who's given the assist, of course, on that Tappany goal. A 4-1 game so far for Finland. This is the most goals they've scored in a single game this tournament. Now, hard shot in the glove of Andrea Brandley and Susanna Tappany. She was playing for it, had the shots, and finally the goal for number 77, a 4-1 lead for Finland. Join the fans of Canada's game across the country and around the world and be a Hockey Canada insider. Receive news and features about Team Canada, events, promotions, and much more. Sign up at HockeyCanada.ca slash insider.
Losing your hair can be frustrating, but now you can do something about it. New Nordic, the number one supplier of natural health products in Scandinavia, has developed a naturally derived and scientifically proven way to support new hair growth. Hair Grow contains a wide range of hair nutrients like biotin, millet, and zinc, but also uses a patented tocotrienol complex, clinically proven to nourish the hair and help increase hair count in five to eight months. Gain back your confidence. Try Hair Grow today. NewNordic.ca. Whether you're doing it yourself or hiring a pro, today, let's paint. Exclusively at the Home Depot. Susanna Tapney has had quite the year, starting off in the PWHL with Minnesota, traded over to Boston. But here she is, a star for the Finnish team, and you can just see the edge work. Her skating ability, her maneuverability in and around the net. And all smiles. So much love, of course, on this team for one another, both sides. Of course, the Swiss managed to get on the board for the first time in this tournament. They'd love to get back at it. They've only had six shots on goal. Rahel Ensler trying to keep it in play. Betley as well from the point. Laura Solder got that first goal, plays it back up to Vetley. Go around Bucci through traffic. Sophia Sundaline. Now Julia Shaleen trying to get it out of the zone. That goes into the benches. Exactly four minutes left now in the second period. Laura Stalder, the captain for the Swiss team, has gone back to her hometown of Zouk. She's from Lucerne, Zouk right outside, to start restart the women's hockey program there. And she had 129 points in 17 games this year. That's correct, by the way. Everything Sammy just said, 129 in 17 games. I mean, they're just such incredible powerhouse hockey players playing in that. And they were in Swiss Division II. They did get promoted, so they'll be in a stronger league next year. But all thanks, really, to Lara Stalder. Of course, and, and not only her. There's other players on the Swiss team, national team, who played in that and had outrageous numbers. I wrote in my notes, excuse me. Now Alina Mueller comes in. She wants a chance to get a goal here. Get on the board, or rather, earn a point for Switzerland. Finland really hogging the puck. They've certainly poured the shots on 25 to 6. And that's a Schaefer now. Feeds it back to Zimmerman. Zimmerman in front. That one turned aside by Ahala. Laura Zimmerman pressured from behind by Newland. Carvinen out to Nieminen. You can see how the Swiss are coming in to stop that effort. I mean, wind up shot, Tapani. Bit of a softer shot instead. Rantala from the point flips it back. The Swiss had three players on Niemen and looked like they're swarming all over, and yet Niemen came away with the puck. The Swiss need to be stronger on their sticks. Finland has played one more game than Switzerland so far in this tournament. They certainly set the tone, come with plenty of energy in this game. Vainica, Savalainen. Valario will go cross ice. Centering feed. Ends up back with Finland. Tapani. Far side trying to get her stick the puck just pull it away from the boards but we've, right and now. we've seen this in so many games right the refs don't tend to call very quick whistles they allow the players to battle we've got less than two minutes now in the second period of course we entered this frame with finland in a 2-1 lead over switzerland they've added two more goals needed center ice switzerland wins Face off. 
Ensler fires it down low, but it spins on it first. Beckler up to Stalder this time. In front, no tip in there. Hoping to find some support by Rahel Ensler. And on away now. Stalder keeps possession. Plays it back to way up to the point, Kristen. So what a pass saved by Ahola. And it was Laura Kristen that set things up for Stalder to get that first goal for Switzerland. Stalder steals it, keeps it away. Cross ice. Support from Beckler now. Beckler. Or rather, Alina Mueller. Back on it. Off the body of Halapainen. That finds Reiner. Final minute of the second period. Alina Mueller with a get going. What a chance. That one blocked in front. Scramble in the net and the whistle blows. And a terrific opportunity for the Swiss. I like that they're, they're shot ready. Sticks are on the ice. They're ready to take that shot. Driving the net. Eyes are open. Trying to look for that next best player, but Sani Ahala up to the task. Lena Mueller in the faceoff circle. Big offensive zone chance, and she wins it. Rims it around to Bucci. Keeps it in from the point. Far side, Mueller. Goes to collect it. She's got support in front, but just like that, turned over and taken away by Finland. Sundalin. Brings it around, gets it back. Final seconds of the second. Vahanen, who scored in this middle frame, measured from behind by Yuchi. And so the second frame will come to a close with a board battle. And two more goals from Finland this period, making it 4-1 over Switzerland. They would love to finish their four-game preliminary round with a win. It would be their first of the tournament. When we come back, it's the second intermission. Back with the panel, Tessa Bonham, Megan Bozak, and Becky Keller. This is the 2024 Women's World Championship from Utica, New York. trip you can depend on esso to be the place between places connecting you to what's next men are you urinating more often are you waking at night to go most men will develop symptoms of bph during their lives and half of them will have more frequent urges to urinate reduce the symptoms of bph with super beta prostate it's proven to help you reduce the extra bathroom trips, reduce getting up at night to urinate, and take back control. To reduce the symptoms of BPH, don't wait. Get Super Beta Prostate. There's a reason Ram has been the most awarded truck brand over the last five years. Everything we build is from the ground up. Every great idea, every next idea, every truck, and everything in it. Like the Ram 1500, awarded number one in new vehicle quality by J.D. Power. We put everything we have into our award-winning trucks, so you get everything out of them. Ram. Trucks are what we do. We've heard it said, nobody comes here for the weather. And yet, every spring, there they are.
Subway Cyber Sub Days are here, so we baked up a fresh deal. Buy one foot long sub online or in the app, get one free. Yeah, that's right, free. But don't wait, this offer ends April 21st, only on Subway.com or the Subway app. Meet the all new TP5 and 5X. Whether you want the softest five layer tour ball or one that's now half a club longer, you'll be playing the number one ball for you. The all new TP5 and 5X, only from TaylorMade. The future is not just gonna happen. You have to make it. And if you want a successful business, all it takes is an idea. And now becomes the future. A future where you grew a dream into a reality. It's waiting for you mere minutes away. The future is nothing but power. And it's all yours. The all-new GoDaddy Arrow. Get your business online in minutes with the power of AI. For 60 years, we've been beside you, loving hockey. Through the highs, the lows, and everything in between. The game's come a long way, and together, we can take it further. A couple goals scored in the second period here in Utica, New York at the Women's World as Finland leads Switzerland 4-1. to Susanna Tappany was one of them that scored. She's standing by with Reagan Subban. Susanna, this is the most goals that your team has scored all tournament long. What's working so well? I think we're shooting more. That's the that's the first thing you can score if you don't shoot. And I think we're um, we can tip tip the goals and screen the goalie, and that helps helps too that the bucks go in. You were clocked as the fastest skater in this tournament. Has your uh, speed always been an asset for you, or is it something that you needed to work on? Um, I think it's always been kind of like my thing, but obviously I had to work work for it too. And um, I think um, playing. Bring in and hockey help too. I, I've been on the ice for, for so, so much. So um, yeah, I just always like to skate and um, yeah, I, that's something I, I always like to do. Thanks so much. Thank you. As we welcome you inside our studio for the second intermission, Tessa, Megan and Becky still along with you. So Finland scoring two goals in that period, Becky. It almost feels like when they started scoring goals against the Americans, that's where their confidence started on their offense. And we're just watching it shine through the rest of the way. When you're watching Finland really dictate pace of play, they're controlling the pace of play. It's the constant movement in the offensive zone that is so hard for the Swiss to contain. The Swiss are stationary, and so when Finland gets in the offensive zone, the constant movement. Watch Yeni Hirokoski when she gets a hold of that puck, just draw everyone in, open up the top in order for this shot to take place and the tip and the goal. And then the same thing with Susanna Tappany on her goal. It's again the constant movement. She's the one that initially gets the puck in the offensive zone she winds up picking it back up on the other side of the net wrapping it around and scoring this goal and so I think for the Swiss they've got to be able to match this they've got to be able to match the the speed that Finland is playing with yeah not only the speed I feel like if you're going to generate a chance make sure it's an actual chance don't just go for a shot on net how do you feel like they've been doing in that department Megan how many chances can you have with only four shots in this period it's tough to create those chances where you hope you get those strong opportunities but they're not moving their feet through any of the zones and they're very very stagnant their passes are stationary and Finland's doing a great job of capitalizing that through the neutral zone creating that offensive movement but Switzerland needs to move their feet and I have a feeling we're going to see Alina Mueller and Laura Salder coming back together on the same line for the third period because they need to create offense their neutral zone movement right now is not changing anything for them so just like the sunlight they're trying to break through so I expect them to have a strong third period no no sunlight there on offense that is for sure Finland stealing all of the sunshine in the Swiss department nonetheless 4-1 is the score a three goal deficit tough one to dig out of but hey 20 minutes left for Switzerland to do it uh, there was a big game taking place earlier today we'll get you caught up on all the latest here at the women's worlds next
losing your hair can be frustrating, but now you can do something about it. New Nordic, the number one supplier of natural health products in Scandinavia, has developed a naturally derived and scientifically proven way to support new hair growth. Hair Grow contains a wide range of hair nutrients like biotin, millet, and zinc, but also uses a patented tocotrienol complex, clinically proven to nourish the hair and help increase hair count in five to eight months. Gain back your confidence. Try Hair Grow today. NewNordic.ca. Ram Power Days are here. The power to choose from the most awarded truck brand over the last five years. Like Ram Classic, as versatile as it is capable. Ram 1500, voted best large pickup in Canada. Or Ram Heavy Duty, with a no-charge Cummins turbo diesel engine. The power is yours. The time is now. Get 20% off MSRP on Ram Classic for up to 14200 in discounts. Plus get 4.99% financing. My clothes look fresh, but I need them to smell fresh, too. That's why I add Downy Unstoppables to my wash. Now I'll be smelling fresh all day long. Still fresh. Still fresh! Still fresh! Still fresh, you nasty little goblins! Still fresh! Still? Fresh. Still? Still. Still here. Still fresh. Get six times longer lasting freshness plus odor protection with Downy Unstoppables. Two pieces of seasoned chicken for two ninety nine dollars on a Tuesday? How freaking dare they? My lemon herbs and spices is my original recipe. They must be out of their minds. Enjoy. And they're giving it away for two ninety nine. dollars In this economy? I'm the butcher. I'm the baker. I'm the candlestick maker. I'm the welder. The climber. The jewelry designer. The dentist. The cook. The author of a book. The beekeeper. The trainer. The circus entertainer. Whatever you make, however you make it, let's make it together. Linares, proud partner of Canadian business. Taking on Sweden, first period, scoreless. Eva Hedqvist, backdoored at Thea Johansson. She's robbed by Sandra Abstrider with a sprawling pad save. One of Abstrider's 32 in this one. No score after one period of play. Let's get to the second. The aggression picking up. Both sides combining for eight penalties. The winner of this one will lock up the top spot in Group B, by the way. We remain scoreless through two periods. Third period now, eight minutes in. Still tied. Germany pressing. Tabia Bothoff fires from the point, deflects off the shin pad of Franziska Feldmeyer. This thing goes in. The Germans open the scoring, and that's how it ends. One nothing. Team Germany locking up the top of Group B with nine points. You'll see it is tied with Sweden, but obviously the win we're against them puts them in top spot, which helps them avoid. Uh, playing against Canada or USA in the quarters. Canada United States kicking off brand new rivalry series, seeing the next layer of talent and giving them an opportunity to see what they can do. Oh, she'll back up as here comes Alex Carpenter. Carpenter backhand drive, she scores! The United States closing things out at home, taking the lead for game one. Turnover chance. A 5-2 victory in L.A. up 2-0 in the buzzer will go. We need overtime in Kitchener. Taylor Heisey holds on. Knight one time. She scores. Hillary Knight in overtime. Game, set, match. Hillary Knight in overtime. She does it again. Now taking a 3-0 series lead. This is a place the Canadians have been before. It was just last year's rivalry series that they were down 3-0 and managed to claw their way back into it and win it 4-3. Great 
performance through and through by this Canadian team. Team Canada walk away a 4-2 victory. We some time for Murphy. Back from Herman. A high shot tipped in front. Skimura. Oh, my goodness. An open net. Well, Skimura is kind of looking up at the sky. She knows she had it. Boulay to the far side. Spooner lets it go. She scores. Natalie Spooner has opened the scoring on the power play. And Canada will force a Game 7 rivalry series deciding game in Minnesota. Boulay with speed. She shoots. energy was amazing this whole series last year they made the comeback so I think we had that confidence also going into these games well both of these teams are so incredibly close this is why the rivalry is so great 34 games against each other each one 17 I mean look at the goals for and against they're deadlocked Canada with the edge for gold medals I mean they got 12 but the Americans have 10 all right with more on this game between Finland and Switzerland through 40 minutes let's get the opinions of Daniela and Sammy well, Finland were leading in goals and shots on goal coming into the second, and they just added to it, Sammy. Of course, two big goals and first-time goals in the tournament for those players. But let's talk about the veterans. 16 World Championship appearances for Yeni Hirokoski and already three assists in this game alone for Finland. I feel like every single game we're saying more <laughs> accolades about Yeni Hirokoski. Exceptional leader on and off the ice for the Finnish team. Her vision, her hockey IQ, so extraordinary. And I think we're watching a legend who soon will be inducted into the Hockey Hall of Fame if she ever ends up retiring. <laughs> but she did have a tough year last year. She had she a, a skate um, that hit her in the neck and she had a huge cut that was difficult for her to recover from. She talks a lot about that mentally. She had a teammate, Sani Hakala, go down, was pro paralyzed in a game and she just talks about how her mentality has changed how she's looking for the fun in the game again and she's really understanding why she loves this game so much and finding the joy in it once again and of course that was a big part of last year's world championships for Yeni Hirokoski coming back after that injury and one big note for Hirokoski she now has 58 points in worlds and that makes her tied with Michelle Carvinen for second all-time for Finland just behind Rico Salonen all right, 40 minutes in the books. The second game of day six here in Utica, New York at the Women's Worlds. Finland leading 4-1 to one over Switzerland. It starts with a grill, but it becomes so much more. An extension of your home. Not just a weekend retreat, but an everyday getaway right in your backyard. New Age makes it possible with beautiful all-weather cabinetry, grills, and appliances that transform your backyard into a complete outdoor kitchen. Visit NewAgeProducts.com to book a free design consultation and create the outdoor living space you've always wanted. Hey, Canada! Kick your week off right at Montana's. Our wings are double-dusted in-house, sauced up, and half price every Monday. Why not pair them with a 14-ounce draft? Just $4.99 every day. Only at Montana's. Kids need sports. Jumpstart needs you. So say yes to donating and help families across Canada overcome financial barriers to sport and play. See? Now that's a whole lot to cheer about. Learn more at jumpstart.canadiantire.ca. I'd do anything. At PetSmart, you can save up to 20% on your dog's first groom with the Salon Welcome Package. So they can be by your side for all the moments that matter. Anything PetSmart. For anything for pets. Hockey is more than a sport. It builds self-esteem, teamwork, and lifelong friendships. I just wouldn't be me if it wasn't for hockey, and I think if I lost that, I think I'd lose a big part of me. Without the Hockey Canada Foundation Assist Fund, thousands of kids like Lamar won't be able to access the game. Donate now to help us ensure every child across Canada has the chance to play. This isn't just golf, it's the Masters. Georgia. 
on TSN and TSN Plus. Presented by Mercedes-Benz Electric. Lead the charge. Well, welcome back. Well, the Finns heavily out shooting the Swiss and out chancing them, quite frankly, in that period. Shots were 26 to 9 through two periods of play. A three goal deficit. Switzerland's got 20 left in regulation to get it done. Daniela, up to you for third period. Thanks, Tessa. Getting set for another exciting period here. Finland setting the tone early, getting the fastest first goal in a game this tournament. Just 42 seconds in. Petra Nieminen. Righty, my check, one, two. And Finland wins the draw to start the third. And that's been a part of this story too, just maintain possession, allowing them to get all those shots on goal. Nelly Leitinen with an assist already in this game. Six different players for Finland have points in this game. Yeni Hirokoski with three. And she has the puck again. And then special teams as well, helping get them to four goals. The most in a single game so far in this tournament. For Finland, I should add. Of course, there's been some bigger wins for Group A and B teams. Savalainen, looking to clear it out, finds Kapanen, who scored the most recent goal for Finland. Zimmerman. Our side trying to rush to it is Schaefer. The Swiss doing a great job there twice in a row, preventing the Finns from entering the zone with any speed or possession of the puck, stepping up at the red line. Playing a 1-2-2, two, two, you can see they're all over the Finns coming through the middle. Let's talk about the legend that is Yeni Hirokoski. Only two points behind Rika Salonen for the all-time scoring leader at the World Championship. She has done it all for her team. She is tied with teammate Michelle Carvinen, 58 points. But as a defenseman, that is what is so remarkable about <laughs> that. Just the most well-rounded hockey player when it comes to it. And again, 16 World Championships. I mean, that kind of experience just adds to her calm, cool, collected demeanor. And on the panel today, we have three incredible defensemen. I'm sure can't get enough about talking about Yeni Hirokoski. <laughs> Tessa Manam, Megan Bozak, and Becky Keller. And in front, that could have been something for Switzerland. They're getting set up here. Laura Kristen to Stalder. They connected the first time Mueller was in front, hoping for a redirect. Back up to Kristen from the point. They are being pressured to the outside. Savalainen with a touch on the puck. Brings Switzerland back out into their zone. Sofiana Sundeline up high on the four check, but Switzerland trying to cut through and create a chance. That one just not controlled enough for Reiner. Reiner doing a great job though of skating through the neutral zone with some speed, looking for that up pass. There's a chance. That one pushed aside by Sonny Ahala. And that should be shot on goal number 10 to 4. Switzerland finally in the double digits here. Certainly taking their time with it, being more patient. Reiner played that one to Marty. Now Vonanen. Got her first goal of the tournament for Finland in this game to make it 3-1. Laura Zimmerman looking around, trying to get it back to Marty, but what pressure there by Nelly Leitinen. Tremendous player for Finland. And they're working in twos and threes together as Finns. The first one ties up, the second one is looking to get the puck. Leitinen, a sophomore with Minnesota in the NCAA. You see Nyland just waiting for the puck, waiting for it to come out. Referee yelling, it's loose, it's loose. Very clear communication from the officials, absolutely. Yanina Newland taking it far side now. And get it around Zimmerman. Trying to use some patience, Sundeline. Drop pass back. Anakaiza Antiroiko for Finland. 
It'll be the Swiss able to clear it and a big chance here. Laura Stalder in close and what a save by Ahola. Well, a big save by Ahola, but it all starts in the Swiss. So many moves, so much of a repertoire, and yet she looks down and she just fires it. Ahola does not fall for it. And a quick cover up off the draw there as the puck gets close. Well, and Stalder is really the preeminent player on this Swiss team alongside Muller. When the puck is on their stick, that's, I mean, that's always a threat whenever either one of those is on the ice. But, you know, how does this country create more of them? They need another couple, Stalder or Muller's. Meanwhile, Holopainen and Vinica trying to set something up on the rush in front. Brandley had some open space in her net in order to lose, though. She's trying to pass it up to Tavalainen, or rather create some space as Finland goes for the change along with Switzerland. That gives Ronja Tavalainen some time to move it up. Karvinen cuts through Nieminen in the middle of it. It's taken away by Ivanaway. Around another massive stretch pass, creating a breakaway. Stalder shoots. It's up high that time. That's twice now in quick succession. Laura Stalder all alone. Finland working to clear it now. Susanna Tapani on the near side. Petra Nieminen. Yep. Pass ahead. It's caught on the stick of Laura Kristen. Tapani. Goes far side this time, intercepted by Way. Gives Laura Kristen the puck again. Nomi Reiner. Going to get back at it now, Yeni Hirokoski. She knows how to distribute, finds Tapani, and this line has just been so dangerous for Finland. Simia Lehman goes down hard as she tries to defend her blue line. Once again, gets into a battle with Lightning right at the blue line. Cutting around is Elena Rosal. Quick to it, Zimmerman, and in front, that one. Set up for Alina Marty to do the work. Marty gets it back. And Zimmerman carry it over near side pressure from Nellie Lightman. Nicole Valerio in the mix for Switzerland as well. It's loose. Picked up by the Swiss. They're starting to add to their shots on goal, however, needing to break through, want to cut that deficit in half with another goal in the third period. They were scoreless in the second. Callie Connect unable to clear it out. Set a line in from the point, nearly redirected there. Antti Royko and Newland were in the slot. That time, Kenick tried to go for a skate, but Savalainen realizing that the Swiss strategy is trying to get in behind their defenseman, and she just backs up, takes away that opportunity. Lots of patience from Finland. Beckler scoops it up from the end boards, and Nora to lose. Oh, she tried to turn it over, but now another chance. Laura Stalder, a pressure from Parkinen. Now another one for Mueller, and what? A turn of events as Sunny Ahola, far from her crease, taken away, and with that, Finland still with a 4-1 lead. They've had the chances here in the third period. I know it's up. Canadian summers just hit different with the Tim's ice cap in hand. Introducing the new Caramel Iced Cap with Gooey Caramel. And the return of the Crunchy Oreo Double Stuff Iced Cap. All across the country, memories are made with Iced Cap. Always summer with Tim's. A healthy liver is vital to a healthy life. Cleanse and protect your liver with Active Liver from New Nordic. Millions of users around the world trust Active Liver to keep them feeling their best. Available as tablet or delicious gummy, find Active Liver at these fine retailers. This is a future ma. GoDaddy Aero creates a logo, website, even social posts in minutes. How? Oh. AI. 
AI like it, who wants to come see the future? Get your business online in minutes with GoDaddy Arrow. Well, Colin Mueller, the coach of Switzerland, realizing he had to come up with a new strategy. And what was it? But send Lara Stalder in on a cherry-picking mission three times in a row. She gets herself in behind the Finnish defense this last time. Gets it back to Mueller, but ends up in a huge collision with Ahola. Yeah, a bit of a pile up there, but we're back in the Finnish zone here to get things going. So Switzerland has certainly had some of their better looks so far of the game here in the third period, but player down on the ice right now after the board, and it's Laura Stalder. She takes a big time collision against the boards, getting pushed into the boards. You see her gingerly trying to put any weight on one of her, it looks like maybe a knee. She gets pushed sideways into the board, gets crunched in by Nora Toulouse. And then Ensler comes down hard on top of her as well. Scary moments for the Swiss team with Stalder down on the ice. Laura Stalder, of course, able to get her team on the board in this game and in this tournament for the first time. And just kind of feeling it, but the fans, of course, applauding as she's able to, on her own power, get up and, and exit the ice here. Well, not looking to be gingerly skating or holding a limb, so maybe just either the wind knocked out of her or just squished into the boards there. She did go down hard. So just outside the finish zone. We'll go the face off and it'll be an icing over on the other side. 12 and a half minutes left in regulation. Stalder, not only a leader on the ice, but off the ice as well. And, you know, these are big games for this Swiss team. And as important as this might be, there is more games remaining that are even more important. So wishing her all the best as she is still healed over there on the bench. And what a great sign of respect as Alina Mueller actually steps in front, knowing, of course, that Camera might be on Stalder. So much respect between those two. Down the board, down now, Nelly Lightman. Olapainen finds Weinicke. But Switzerland still on a mission. They get more goals. They'd love a win in this game. Perhaps some fuel to the fire here. Anik Bucci. Working to clear it. Such speed, speed by Vivi Vinica. Watching her out there, she's just like a flash every time she's on the ice. So much speed, Elena Rosal. Works the puck up, finds Alina Marty now, and Zimmerman near side. Switzerland looking to set up here. Sinjalima down low. Savaline and, and a quick shot by Russo. It gets sent back. Finland. Susanna Tappany, she's gonna cut in front and get the backhand shot off. It's saved by Brandley. Sent back out Parkinen. One timer in the glove. Well, the tough thing about this arena is there is no connection to the dressing rooms from the players' bench. So an injured player is sort of stuck there unless there's a stoppage in play and they take a skate. Normally a player like Stalder, maybe with head or neck injury might go into the dressing room for a little while, maybe go into a dark room. Doctors can assess. They cannot do that here. Physiotherapist on the bench trying to assess. Those player safety paramount in all of these competitions, but that does mean less time for Laura Stalder, who was really getting to work and having some great opportunities just before that incident against the boards. Back behind parking in now. Finland, Abby Suvander, and now Sundaline. Hoping to find Shaleen in the slot that time. It's kept out, and Alina Mueller now. Laura Kristen. Stopped short by Lightning. Played up off the wall to Sundaline. In front, Newland that tip in, stopped by Brandley. Great vision by Sundaline to recognize someone driving the net. 
And Ivana Lay just trying to stick handle around, but Hirokoski with the puck back for Finland. Oh! That stretch pass to Antti Royko goes a little further, pushed back, disrupted. Switzerland getting their sticks on it here. Ivana Lay. But just as they're about to get going, Finland comes back. Newland through the legs, it's cleared off the glass. More than halfway through the third period now. And Reiner coming in with speed, tries to get a shot up, bit soft. And Good. Royko. Back pressure by the Finns. When that happens, recognizing that the D can then step up, they're all over the Swiss as they're entering their zones. Parkinen up to Antti Royko. He'll take a shot. Turned aside by Brandley. Andy <laughs> Suvander taking a tough collision there, losing her stick. And Zimmerman, now another big chance for Switzerland. Shoots, she scores! Sinja Lehman cuts the deficit in half, and what a big boost for Switzerland as their captain is ready to celebrate with them from the bench. Well, this is the fourth time this has happened this period. Swiss forward getting in behind the play and just an exceptional pass by Zimmerman to get it up to Lehman. But watch this again. Look her look behind her and then just fires it over her glove, realizing that she has some time. She slows it down. And she just puts it right in there. That was so smooth, Sinja Lehman. Very happy with what she was just able to do. First point of the tournament and a big goal for Switzerland. So plenty of time left during the third period. Well, and the fact that this has happened now four times this period, the Finns need to adjust to what is apparently a strategy. And all smiles from the Switzerland bench as Sinja Lehman becomes the second goal scorer for Switzerland of the game and the tournament. any choice at all everyone has a choice and every choice has a consequence which do you choose life's full of tough choices Emma. how do you choose Friday. Every cup of Tim's coffee tells a story. We select high quality, responsibly sourced beans and blend them using the same recipe and level of care since 1964. It's Canada's favorite coffee for a reason. Tim's for good. Learn more at timhortons.ca. Well, just over nine minutes left in this game between Switzerland, Finland, and regulation, and Team USA arriving in style as they do, getting set for a massive Group A matchup to close out their preliminary round against Canada tonight, 7 p.m. Eastern. My goodness, those two, always a great battle. Of course, they battled as well prior to the World Championships in the rivalry series, and it was Canada with the reverse sweep that one this year and actually the year before but right now two teams that if Finland maintains the lead on the scoreboard at the end of the game well this will be the rematch in the quarterfinal all, all group a quarterfinal and Laura Stalder with her first shift back after an incident along the boards Great to see her back on the ice. Scary moments for Switzerland. Lena Mueller chasing it down in the far side. Got to catch up with Henny Urikoski, but Urikoski claims the puck. Sends it over to Lightning. We've got a delayed penalty going, which is why there is no netminder for Finland. I think Alina Mueller had to look back and just check what happened to Sunny Ahola. While Laura Stalder with her first shift back since getting squished into the boards. 
returns the favor. See, she doesn't like the call. But she's in a board battle with Michelle Carvin, and she just drives her in seven, and continues to push her running. down. The cross check. She comes in body on body, but just continues the play. A little bit of spice there from Switzerland. A little frustration, I think. Fortunately for Switzerland, this power play is a good one for Finland. I mean, they were able to score the first time out. Here's Laura Stalder. You can tell she doesn't like the call is doing the universal sign for potential dive. Now here Koski over to Toulouse. Either way, it's a penalty kill now for Switzerland. Another chance to go ahead and regain a three goal lead here for Finland. Tapani out there to loose. And here Koski with three points already on this game. Three assists. Here Koski back to Toulouse one timer. Blocked in front by Valario. Tapani dancing with it in close and saved by Brandley. Well, Stalder. Perhaps a little bit too used to being in the penalty box. Has 73 penalty minutes, most in her career. Two minutes today for her in this game, but she maybe is a little bit too comfortable in that penalty box. Mirkowski gets her stick on it. The hardest thing about having Lara Stalder in the penalty box is you don't have her on the PK. She's so valuable in all situations. Absolutely. So Dylan has been able to actually be relatively penalty free in their game so far. Not getting into much trouble. Now going back and forth, I mean, Laura Stalder is very close to getting the all time penalty minutes at Worlds. Back to loose. She's patient. And to get up in front, and what an effort there by Nomi Reiner with a dive in front to prevent that. I like the Swiss quick sticks. They are collapsing in a very tight box in and around Andrea Brandley, but their sticks are tight. They're aggressive in that box. Nelly Lightman, let's go. Bit of a laser there, of course, just to create some second chances and nearly gets it back. So what the Fens will have to recognize is there won't be lanes to the net. However, getting in front, ensuring that they're getting some deflections, some rebounds, and just trying to get the puck through. And that would have been one of the last efforts there on this power play as Stalder gets set to get out of the penalty box. One shot on goal for Finland in that power play. They have been able to score on the player advantage in this game. That was Ronya Savalainen. Power play mark it to marker rather to make it 3-1. Less than six minutes left in regulation. Finland holding strong despite some fantastic efforts by the Swiss. Alina Mueller trying to rush to it. The Linja Lija Sindelman who able to score the second now Mueller in close and that backhand just bounces across the crease and a nifty little give and go to recognize drive to the net Mueller has had some really close chances in this game still without a point in this tournament pass back what a shot let go by anti Royko another big save by Brandley but Switzerland needs a goal if they want to mount this comeback just over five minutes left to the third
every trip, you can depend on Esso to be the place between places, connecting you to what's next. Mueller with a great chance for the Swiss. Such great vision on the ice, uses her edge work to get around the Finnish defenseman, but just can't lift it over the shoulder of Sani Ahola, who just manages to clip it with her shoulder. I want her to come a little bit further, find a little bit more open space. She has so much veteran leadership on this team. And so young as well, right? One of those young players who's Life experience and experience in the sport really lends itself well. Stalder tries to play it up. It's ripped back by Savalina, kept in by Mueller. Far side, Beckley to Ensler. Mueller tries to get back to it in the slot. Ensler battling for it for Switzerland. Less than five minutes here. Switzerland has been able to cut the deficit in half with the second goal. First of the third period. Only one actually in this final frame so far. Down low, BB Vinica chasing it down as Mueller plays it up. Jurakowski looking for a lane, and Stalder trying to close that one out. Previous play, Stalder came through with a little bit of a high stick, getting a little spicy out there. Karvinen cutting around, plays it back to Nieminen. Nieminen creating all kinds of space, Tappany with it. Off the near wall, but constant pressure by Alina Mueller. Again, teammates for PWHL Boston, very familiar for one with one another. And Stalter just floating around up high. She's waiting for that outlet, float, outlet pass. Well, Parkinen will do what Finland wants, of course, just to keep the puck in the Switzerland zone. Finland does have the historical winning record, but here comes Switzerland looking to change that. What a shot up high. Great vision by Zimmerman to recognize she has somebody following up behind her. Yeah, Alina Marty was right there. And now battling for it along the boards, of course. This is also chewing into the time remaining. Crowd not liking that. Suggesting that there might have been a call. And so as the clock begins to wind down, Finland with the two-goal lead. And a win for them, of course, cements this matchup. Finland, Switzerland in the quarterfinals. And Finland has plenty of time, of course. They'll have until Thursday to prepare. Big hit by Sundelin there at the ice, at the center ice on Kristen. But let's go back to this big chance for Switzerland. And the vision that Zimmerman has to recognize that Marty is following her up. At full speed, she draws a defender over into the corner, allowing Marty more time and space to get the shot away, but a good stick by Sani Rantala to get in the way of that shot by Marty. And what a game so far for Switzerland and as they go to a timeout, but Canada arriving to fan support, of course, as well. The Adirondack Bank Center, they get set for their big matchup against Team USA. Emily Clark with the fist bumps. Plenty of smiles in Utica. Much warmer out there today than it was yesterday. It doesn't look that way, though, visually, so I'm glad you mentioned that. For anyone at home wondering, quite a warm day. Yes, about 18 degrees Celsius. <laughs> I was going to say, out people there. from all over the world watching. But... Last couple days has been below zero, so it has been a big change in the temperature here. Of course, we're living at the rink, Sam, so all we feel is the environment, the climate of the Adirondack Bank Center. And it's starting to heat up in here as well in these final is. three minutes. Here's the thing. Finland has the historical record, 12 wins to two over Switzerland. Many, many goals as well, but Switzerland doing what they can, including pulling Andrea Brandley here for a six on five opportunity, hence the timeout as well for Colin Muller to rally his team and create a plan. They're gonna have to maintain possession. Stalder, of course, out on the ice for this, along with Mueller. Lightning without a stick and in front, Stalder with a great chance. But remember, empty net on the other side and momentum taken away there. Switzerland regains possession. They've got some time here, two and a half minutes. They do have an empty net though, six on five. Stalder tries to find Connect. Instead, Savalainen nearly, oh my goodness, what a hard pass 
to take, a shot to take rather for Zimmerman. Back behind the goal line. Plenty of Swiss red in front of the net. Kristen to Stalder. Mueller near side. One timer through traffic in front. Lehman Mueller trying to cut across and use the chaos to their advantage. Let's have a line in final two minutes here. Again, an empty net the other way. Tapani taps it up in a rush to get to the puck. Kristen to Mueller. Back to Stalder now. Laura Stalder tries to find Connect. Stalder was all over that play right from the faceoff. You could see her with her hand directing the play, telling players what to do. Stalder. She's been out there for over a minute already. What a goal by Eddie Hirokoski. She flips it out to dump it and gets the empty netter, making it 5 2 for Finland. Four points on the night for Hirokoski. Well, in an unfortunate moment for Stalder, but a magical moment for Yeni Hirokoski. She's not going to miss from that distance. Yeni Hirokoski's not going to miss from any distance, let's be honest. Just takes a look down at the open net and right in the middle. Makes no mistake about it. And what a fabulous full ice shot for Yeni Hirokoski to add to her point tattle, tally, not only here at this championships, but all time. Yeah, all six. And that is so tough, though. One captain, Joy, and another captain's frustration. Of course, Laura Stalder getting the first goal for Switzerland, not only in this game, but for this tournament. And that was such a big part of this, Sammy, too, was just for Switzerland to just regain their composure and their confidence. And it's just been a tough game for Stalder. Well, and you can see the frustration. She's also played a ton of minutes in this game, but should be proud of her team. I mean, they have put two goals on the board. They have not done that yet this tournament. This game is not the big game, right? They, they make their way into the quarterfinals. That's the big game, the one that they want to win. And, as they're and developing more and more confidence. It looks like we had an injury on the ice yeah, so to one of the Swiss players. That's Laura Kristen. Oh, no, check that. It's Cindy Jore. Thought it was 17, but it's 87. So right now, just over a minute left, of course, Brandley back in that at this point. And Finland very confident, of course, that they're going to be facing Switzerland in the quarterfinals. And what a chance there by Vinica into the glove. So we knew that coming into this, if Finland got their first win of the tournament, this is their final game of the preliminary round, that they would face the Swiss in that 4-5 game. And so you were just talking, Sammy, about the big stakes. My goodness, now both teams, they are very familiar with each other. They know what's at stake. Well, in this third period, has certainly been uh, very physical. Lots of spiciness, we'll say, out there. It just... These two teams are not friendly foes. I didn't know that the Swiss were well known for their spice, but that's what's happening out on the ice. And of course, very familiar. Well, and both coaches coaching in a manner that you don't want to give too much away, right? This is the game that is a preliminary round game. So you want to play different tactics than you would maybe in a quarterfinal. So this might be a different look than what we will see in that quarterfinal game. Uh, Yusha Toilova just wanting to get Finland back into a medal game to play for that. And that's the thing with that 4-5 game means one team will move down to Group B. Cutting across, it's offside. Well, and Savaline and knocked the Swiss player into her, into the zone to cause that offside. Smart play by Savalainen. I like this. I like this Finnish team. They have a lot of. They have a lot of spunk. They have a lot of skill. A lot of offensive talent, but also defensively, have some incredible back end strength led by Yeni Hirokoski. Yeni Hirokoski, Lightning. Really, what's at stake in that four-five game for the quarterfinals? Of course, a chance to go on and potentially play for a medal. Pass it around. Cross is Nieminen. Final seconds. Wind down. Petra Nieminen, who opened scoring here in Finland's big 5 2 win over Switzerland, has the puck at the last touch. And of course, the celebration. Thanks to Sunny Ahola as well for all her saves and her efforts in this game. Of course, facing 15 shots 
from Switzerland, allowing two goals. Well, it'll be interesting to see what the Finns do moving forward. Sani Ahola has played three games for them. And Kesla just the one. I wouldn't say this was the strongest game by Ahola letting two goals in on 15 shots. However, she does seem to be the goalie that the Finns are moving forward with, but it, only time will tell. Annie Kesela started all the games at the Olympics in 2002, earning a bronze medal. And she did back up Ahola against Czechia, or rather got her first start against the USA. Mm -hmm. And a goaltender assist on that. Well, and Kesela hasn't had a great season with HV71 in the SDHL, so maybe that's the reason why Ahola, who's now playing at St. Cloud State, a senior there, has jumped up into that starting position. It worked out well for Finland. Their very first win of the tournament comes in their final game of the preliminary round. Of course, they want to keep that momentum going. They'll face Switzerland in the quarterfinal on Thursday. Well, nice for them to have a little bit of a break, a day off. Enjoy the warm that. temperatures outside. Absolutely, two full days. Tomorrow. Of course, the final day for all the preliminary action. Day seven tomorrow, Sammy, of the Women's World Championship. But here, Switzerland gets one more chance at a preliminary win. They will face off with Czechia tomorrow. We'll have to regroup very quickly. Now time for the best players of the game. Ladies and gentlemen, the best players of each team will be awarded with a trophy from Oneida County, sponsor of the 2024 IIHF Women's World Championship. The prizes will be presented by Savannah Redmond, a seventh grader at Perry Junior High School in New Hartford. The best player of Switzerland is number seven, Lara Stalder. The captain, Lara Stalder, of course, getting the first goal in this game for Switzerland, but also in the tournament for her country. She was all over the ice tonight for the Swiss. A superb effort. She, she just wanted to take the entire team on her shoulders at certain times. The best player of Finland is number six, Jenny Hirikoski. Who else? But Finland's captain, Jenny Hirokoski, a four-point game. Three assists, that empty net goal to make it 5-2 for Finland. And how many times have we said this name as an MVP <laughs> in the game in her 16th World Championship? And she still is so prolific at scoring. An incredible leader on this team and all smiles. And for the first time Dear now, all, Finland's team rise, can stand together, for the getting close, all Finland. smiles as they hear their national anthem. So Finland proven to be a little bit too much for Switzerland in the preliminary round. A 5-2 win for the Finns. We'll get Becky and Megan to break it all down next. A healthy liver is vital to a healthy 